Of course I'd forget a spoon. How to keep your coffee warm. A story told by Amy. I got my spoon. I dropped my spoon. And now I'm going up four flights of stairs. My uh, cardio fitness isn't what it used to be either. Let's put it that way. I'm nearly there. Wow, I'm going to rough. I'll explain it all in a minute. So, um, this room has no fridge. So I don't really know what to do with this now. I'm definitely gonna, not gonna eat the whole thing. I don't think my stomach would appreciate that. I'm just gonna leave that like by the window for a little while. So I've got my amazing masterpiece. I've got my amazing hotel breakfast. What time even is it? 11 o'clock. Okay, that's breakfast. I've got um, a cup of yogurt. I've got an apple. Of course, I had my coffee and my dark chocolate a lot earlier this morning. I didn't sleep last night. I probably had that at about 6 a.m. this morning. But I'm also gonna add, because I just, I'm just a little bit delirious, this um, chocolate fiber one bar. Because why not, I say? Why? not also i don't actually know if you can get these in australia i know that you can get the brownies in australia which in my opinion are infinitely better anyway we've got a gourmet breakfast hey guys i've kind of already introduced this vlog but not really so this is me saying hi i am a total hot mess right now i feel like the more that i'm saying i'm a hot mess as well i'm like becoming even more of a hot mess i feel like i might cry during this so i'm just gonna preface that and say i might cry i have always been someone that's really in touch with my emotions but lately i've been finding that i am like bottling up all of my feelings and all of my like subconscious thoughts it's just not how i work i'm not good at bottling things up i am flying out on wednesday back to australia and today is sunday it's currently like what 12 p.m 11 30. i have decided that on tuesday night i'm gonna stay in gatwick which makes sense because it means i don't have to rush to the airport early the next morning so that made sense but i have decided to stay in a hotel for the next two nights instead of staying where I was living because I just I don't know how to describe it but I I wasn't comfortable where I was staying I was never at ease I just for a lot of reasons and I feel like maybe I shouldn't just be open and honest about it all in case like this video gets into the wrong hands if you know what I mean their lifestyles didn't align with my lifestyle and I wanted to get out as soon as possible last night I pretty much didn't sleep. It was definitely time for me to leave this morning. I got up about 6am and I literally just packed all my stuff and I just left. I got an Uber to this hotel that I booked at 11.30 last night and I just left. And I feel really weird right now. Everyone keeps asking me, how are you feeling? And the only thing I can say is that I feel weird. Like I feel really weird. I just crave a really simple life for a bit and I know I'm gonna get that soon. I think the weirdest part is that I didn't see all of this coming. I, like you guys will know if you've been watching my videos, like this is quite a shock. This is quite a big thing. And I hate waiting. I hate waiting for anything. I, I'm the most impatient person. I don't like waiting in a queue. I don't like waiting for food. I don't like waiting for a TV show to start, let alone waiting three days until I go on a massive flight to go home. Like I want to go right now i'm so stubborn and i'm so strong-headed that i'm like when i do something i want it now like i want it yesterday so it's sunday today and i don't leave for another in 48 hours it'll be tuesday 72 hours 72 hours is a long time people but i needed to just be in my own space for a little bit this room is like twice the size of the bedroom that i was in i come to this hotel a lot and i love this place it's they're really really nice they're really accommodating i just feel really anxious today really anxious and it could be because i have like sleep deprivation right now that's i synced my fitbit with my phone before to see how much sleep i got four hours and 51 minutes of sleep last night so that's why i'm feeling a little bit worse for wear and i got one hour of deep sleep definitely not an ideal situation put it that way what's good about staying at this hotel is that in a way i feel like i have a little bit of a landing pad i never wanted to be at home in the other place that I was living before because I was secluded in my room the whole time. I didn't even have a couch to sit on, I just had my bed. Whereas when I'm here, I've got this massive room or downstairs in the lobby, they've got this really cool study area that I go all the time. They've got microwaves, they've got water, they've got coffee, they've got everything I need. I feel a lot comfortable having like a home base, if that makes sense. Usually I've been starting work at 7 a.m. in the morning. So I leave home at 6 a.m. I'm not getting home till 6 or 7 p.m. because I don't want to go 
home. So I'm spending all day out and in London that is so exhausting and I feel so drained physically, mentally, psychologically. It's really good to just have a landing pad like it's 11 30 and i haven't even ventured out yet i think what i'm going to do today is basically my gym membership where i've usually been going has ended now but my friend is letting me go to his gym which is great i haven't had a decent workout in a week maybe now i just haven't been working out it hasn't been a priority like i get that and you know what this is exciting because this means when i get back to australia i can finally make a comeback series and i've never done that before so you guys watch out. I'm gonna go do that. I'm not sure I'll actually do that much else today. I'll probably go to the gym and then I'll come back here, buy some stuff to have for my dinner and then I'll just chill because I really need it. <laughs> I'm really tired. I'm worried about myself because I'm an emotional person and usually when I feel like I need to cry, I just have a big old cry and then I feel very refreshed afterwards. But for some reason, like I'm getting that sensation of like needing to cry and needing to let off that emotion but it's not happening. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm probably overthinking it. I'm going to put my hair up. I might put a bit of concealer on so I don't like this where I'm wearing my glasses. Like, look at me. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, put a bit of makeup on and then I probably go to the gym and see what happens. Finally made myself look somewhat human. I feel kind of shit. I feel really anxious and really tired, but I know that if I just stay in this room all day, I'll probably feel even worse. So I'm just gonna go to the gym I'm going to try and get all this out. I think a lot of it is actually because I haven't been out of workout all week. I know that that harbors a lot of like anxiety, not because, not anxiety because I haven't been out of workout, anxiety because ang uh, exercise is the way in which I release all of my mental clutter. So I need to go have a spring clean to use it metaphorically. <laughs> back at the hotel now and weirdly enough I have just been snacking on mushrooms which is very very weird. I didn't film after my workout because I ended up meeting a friend at the gym of all places. I didn't expect to see him there at all and we got the tube back to Stratford together which was so nice. I feel so much better after that workout. The first hour I didn't feel great or like the first 45 minutes but then I pushed through and those endorphins hit me and I feel like a functioning human being again, which you have no idea how happy this makes me. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head downstairs to the lobby because it's like a cool little study area with my laptop. I've got a banana, I've got a protein bar, and I've got some water. I'll probably make a cup of tea there as well. Do some laptop stuff, I'll probably edit this video actually. But it's so nice to like, be during the day where I can just go somewhere and chill and I don't have to take my backpack with me. It's really hard to explain, but I've spent, I think I said it earlier today, I've spent every single day out of the house living from a backpack so just to be able to take my coat off and just like chill and go downstairs very very good <laughs> Actually, I cannot even describe to you guys how much more relaxed I am feeling than I did earlier. I haven't felt this relaxed in a really long time. I'm gonna head to Westfield. What's the time now? It's 4.30. Westfield is literally there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a ready meal from M&S for my dinner tonight because as I said, they've got a microwave downstairs and I'm not so keen on eating out. There are like no restaurants around except Nando's and I went to Nando's yesterday. Otherwise, to be fair, I'd actually go to Nando's. I'm not gonna take you guys with me because it's gonna be very busy there as always. Also, my battery is dying so I need to plug you in but it brings me to my next point about how happy I am to go back to Australia so I don't need to use double adapters anymore so basically for my MacBook and for my camera ca camera why can't I speak for my camera charger I still have Australian plugs so I just have to use double adapters for everything not for much longer the only thing I'll have to use a British adapter for when I get back to Australia is my hair straightener but to be honest I will just use my mum's so that's not even a worry I will see you guys when I get back I will do a little haul uh, even though I'm probably only gonna be buy one thing because I don't really have much money to spare. I swear I was gonna say something, but I don't remember. 
I'm back from the shops. I'm laying on my bed. What's the time? It's like 6.30. I've been back for a little while. I got caught in the internet black hole. You know when you just end up just looking up random stuff? That was me. Now I'm eating a carrot because I need to have a shower and I can't be bothered to have a shower. So I thought, why not eat a carrot instead? Logic. So for my dinner, I ended up getting this M&S Balance For You Green Thai Chicken Curry. I think I've had this before. I really, really like these. If you are ever looking for ready meals, I would definitely head to M&S. They do a whole range of these Balance For You ones. And then I have some vegetables. I don't think I'm going to eat all of these because it's a lot of vegetables that I'm going to add to this before I microwave it just because I had these left in my house and I didn't want to waste them. So what I will do is I will go downstairs where the microwave is, I will open this, put some stuff on there. I was going to take my laptop downstairs and just eat downstairs and just put my headphones in or something, but I don't know how many people will be down there and I'll probably get some weird looks. I'm just not in the mood for weird looks tonight. So I'll microwave it, bring it up here, and I think I'll be a lot more comfortable doing that. To some, this could be the most laughable situation. I am sitting in a hotel room on a floor because we don't do chairs here at Amy Louise Fit. We're not conventional. I'm eating my ready meal. I've got my little sachet of tomato ketchup. Um, excuse me, how cute is this cash? Again, I can't speak today. How cute is this sachet the answer is very cute so I just heated this up in the microwave downstairs and it's like industrial grade or something it really cooked my food stole a fork I didn't steal a fork I am going to give it back actually I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and just chill out and honestly this makes me so happy I don't care if you guys think that this is sad I literally don't I am filled with joy and you know what for once for the first time in months I feel at peace and I feel like I don't have to answer to anyone or anything and I can breathe. I'm living the dream life. I've got my pillow four, I've got my matching pajamas. Life is good. This is bringing back major vibes. If you're an OG subscriber, you will... By the way, what does OG actually mean? Because I have no idea. Anyway, you will remember I had a hotel vlog when I first moved to England and uh, it's really reminding me of that hotel night where I kind of had a freak out and then I got Nando's for dinner and just kind of sat on my bed and thought, wow, this is really weird. Yeah, same vibes going on here. I kind of love it though. I'm not bored, but I'm like at that point of night where I just want a snack because I've got nothing better to do. I'm just sitting and watching YouTube. And it's 20 past day and I'm gonna have this like bread baguette thing that I got later. The problem is I have like no food. I definitely don't think that that yogurt that I put in the windowsill earlier will be okay. It's like room temperature, so I don't think I want that anyway. I do not want more fruit. Let me investigate my bag. So actually I have a few options. I have one of these sour bears, which these are good and I like them, but I just don't feel like it right now. I bought from a health food shop, wow, I'm really rambling, this dark chocolate, but I'm like dark chocolate is my morning thing, you know? So this is 76% dark raw chocolate, dark and salted caramel. Kind of intense for nighttime, I feel. Or I could do a little taste test of cereal. I think I was telling my Instagram story today. I have packed so much stuff, obviously, because I'm like moving to the other side of the world. Something in me possessed myself to buy a multi-pack of mini cereals from Lidl. I really have no idea why I did that. But I really want to try this tiger cereal. So it's a lot like lion cereal and I've never had lion cereal. So let's do like a mini taste test. This is the kind of quality content that we live for. I'm, I'm definitely still going to eat bread later. But you know, you girls got a high metabolism. We're trying to bolt. So this is called Tiger Crunch Caramel and Cacao. The bag is 30 grams. That's, that's about all I can tell you. Looks kind of cute. We're going to eat it dry. I actually am not a dry cereal person. A lot of people are. It smells alright. They're little like star shapes. I'll be honest with you. It tastes like cardboard. Sugary cardboard, so it's okay. But cardboard. Why did I buy these packs of cereal? Although... The really good ones will be the um, the Choco pillows because they're like Crave. Or the Nougat pillows, which I'm assuming is the same type of thing. But they're okay, so this kind of tastes like cookie crisp. What you're about to witness is like the best snack creation ever. I think I'm going to show you the things I have and then put you away while I try and make it. Okay, so I went to Waitrose before it closed and I got a little baguette. This was 19p for this baguette. I wish I could warm it up, but I can't. And then because I'm staying in a hotel, I managed to score a little thing of peanut butter. It's some pat, so it's like not the best peanut butter, but that's fine. And a little, I thought this was apricot jam. It's marmalade, which most people hate marmalade, but luckily I like it. So I'm gonna somehow 
make a creation here. Okay, wow. I'm honestly so proud of this creation. I have my little baguette with peanut butter and marmalade, and I'm gonna lay over there and enjoy this. What a time to be alive. Well guys, I'm gonna head off to sleep now. I'm so happy to be in this massive bed in a hotel. Sometimes, you know what, it just pays to spend some money to make yourself a little bit happy, put it that way. I'm sorry if this vlog has been a mess. Actually, I don't think it has been a mess. I think it's been an all right vlog, but you guys let me know. I am gonna go sleep because I'm still making no sense, but I'm glad this day kind of turned around a little bit. This morning, I didn't allude to it as much in the vlog as I felt it, but I was in a really, really bad place. And so I'm just, I'm happy my day turned around. I will see you guys tomorrow probably because when I'm like alone traveling, I like to vlog because it makes me feel like I've got company. So I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. That is goodbye from me. Good night. I'm going to read my book. I'm reading the Michelle Obama book. It, it's all right, to be fair. Make sure you're subscribed and you're following me on Instagram because I'm always on Instagram. See ya.